Are you a musician that has a hard time remembering songs? Do you find you struggle to remember the melodies of songs you play? Introducing the Musician's Practice Deck. This tool right here will be a lifesaver for you. Comes in its own little handy case. You can put it in your pocket, carry it along with you anywhere you go. Here's what you get and what it does, how to use it, okay? You get five colors of cards, five cards per color, okay? It's a little practice deck. And on these cards, you get a ring. So on these cards, you write down things. You write down the names of songs, right? This is the simplest way to use it to start out with. Write one song on each card. Every time you go to practice your instrument, you pull out your practice deck, and you start with the first card. You play that song through. It's a song you already know, right? Then you play the next song through and maybe one more. Might take you six or seven minutes, right? Then you just put the rubber band back on so that the next time you practice, you'll come and it'll be the next song. You go through and you just continue on playing each song on the card right and after a week of practice you'll have went through the whole deck there's 25 cards in this deck ways you can use this okay you can use this to remember the song right you could uh write down maybe a chord progression maybe you're trying to memorize a chord progression okay so you could write down a simple chord progression uh layout and I did that on a card here, and I'm trying to find it. Uh, like this. You could write your, your chord progression down so that you can memorize that. You could write, let's say you're uh, singing the song as well. And one thing I find when you're singing a song in order to memorize the lyrics, that's the hardest part for me. But when I'm doing that, um, if I really need to memorize the lyrics and won't be able to have my iPad so I can have the lyrics with me. What I'll do is uh, just write down the first couple of words of the first line of each verse. Chorus, no one has a problem remembering that. But verses, sometimes you get them mixed up, right? So uh, you'll find that if you write down like the first three or four words of each verse, that will trigger that in your memory. And it really works well. And then let's say you have 25 songs on here. What do, what do you do next? Well, you do the back of it, right? You write a song on the back of it. Then you've got 50 songs that you play through regularly, okay? And each time you practice, you just do two or three, however many, right? Uh, however many you feel like doing. Maybe one day you just want to go through every song in it and you just play through it one time each, whatever. Um, you can write two car two on each side. You can write multiple. You could also put like maybe what tuning you're in, the key that it's in. These are all things that just slip your mind over time, as well as the melody of the song. But once you know the melody of the song, you uh, you can easily recall it if you use a system like this. All right. So this system, I'm calling it the Musician's Practice Deck. And it's at my website right now. It's a wonderful practice tool. You could you could use the colors for different types of songs, right? Uh, right now I'm using pink for hymns. But you could use a color set or a specific deck for a gig you have coming up that you're trying to remember. Um, but the main use for this, okay, you can use it for many things. But the main thing I wanted to be able to do for this, um, you know, is just practice, right? You, you lose those songs. I find this a lot with my students. They will not be able to play a song through the whole way. They'll play part of it and then they forget the rest of it, or they, uh, you know, have a part that's slower. So this is not for while you're learning the song. This is, hey, I already know the melody of the song. And what do I do next, all right? I know Cripple Creek. I know Boil Them Cabbage Down. I already learned those as a beginner, right? Write, a, write those on a card, okay? That way, as you flip through your practice deck, you'll always remember that, 
okay? And it just takes just a few minutes, all right? To run through it on each practice session, it makes practice more fun, and you won't let those songs slip through the cracks, right? How many times have you been playing and you come across a song and you go, you know, I know that song, but I can't remember it. It's been so long since I played it, right? This will help you, okay? So this is for all musicians, right? It's a great tool. And it's available now on my website for only $15. And that includes $5 shipping. It cost me five bucks to ship this to you. So, and I've already checked that <laughs> everywhere. If you're, um, so if you're interested, $15. If you see me out somewhere, you'll be able to buy it for 10 because I won't have to ship it to you, obviously. So what are you waiting for? Go grab a practice deck now and start building your repertoire of songs.